Hello everyone and welcome to another YouTube tutorial where I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the mod through Mod Rinth. Now, like in the last video, uh, first of all you're going to create, go into your library and create a new profile or I believe it's called Instance on Mod Rinth. And then you're going to click on the folder tab. It's called Instance. Very weird, right? Uh, basically I already have that open right here. And then first option uh, and is that you can go on to Modrinth and then you can just click on download. The same thing, by the way, for GeckoLib, TerraBlender, and Manascore. You can download it uh, as like a mod file or you can install with the Modrinth app, which I would recommend. I believe this is the file for normal downloads. Yeah. So you can either download it like this or you can install it with the Modrinth app. Now, boom, we just click install Tensura Reincarnated in the video instance. I don't know why it's called instance. Modrinth is kind of weird. Um, and anyways, yeah, like with CurseForge, it also installs it with all the dependencies. So you don't have to worry your pretty little head about it. All you have to do is click on play and boom, you're going to be in Tensura Reincarnated. Right, um, we're not going to do that. You're just going to have to trust me that it works. Um, and then there's the third type of um, there's the third third type of installation, and it consists of you grabbing all of your pretty little files, going into roaming and dot Minecraft, going into dot Minecraft, and in dot Minecraft, if you have any type of alternative launcher that isn't CurseForge or, or Modrinth. You're going to have a mod file here. It's going to be called mods. And you're going to just install it by putting the files in here. Now, if you have .minecraft, you're also, and if you have a launcher, you're going to have to install um, like Forge and stuff through that. But that's a, a whole issue of its own. This is just like a, an alternative to either Modrinth or CurseForge. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching this Modrinth installation tutorial, and I hope you have a nice day.